Hey folks, it's Ty again. Here we are. <laughs> Time for a Ty story. Now this one, I have it. I asked all you folks give me some suggestions on Ty stories, and I got quite a few. Um, I got quite a few su suggestions from a few people. Now. I can just imagine if I had several people giving me suggestions, just how many I'd have. So again, I'll remind you, feel free. Any suggestions for style stories or topics, I'll do my best to satisfy them. So leave them down in the comments if you got, got any suggestions. Okay, now this one was suggested by Jack Walsh. One of my devoted viewers, Jack, is always there. He watches them all, and he comments all the time. Thanks, Jack. I really appreciate it. Well, this one, he had said that he had suggested that I do a moral of the story kind of sty story. So that's what this one's going to be. I'm going to grab a quick sip of coffee. My last video, I was drinking chaga tea. I'm drinking coffee, this one. So, this one, um, I got a prop for. We'll get to this prop and how it works. <laughs> how it's going to work. This, the title of this one is, That's Far Enough. Okay. Okay. Back in the days out west, up in the northwest Rockies, a friend of mine moved out there same time, him and his family moved out there same time myself and my family moved out there. And we had been friends virtually our whole lives. Um, I think the first time I met him I was about five or six years old. And we had stayed friends for many, many, many years. So it was really a pleasure moving out west with him. Having him local out west came in handy because him and I loved to go on adventures. Well, this adventure that I'm going to talk about was quite the adventure. One thing we liked to do was explore the backcountry. Now, all over the region where we were, there's all these Forest Service roads, these old logging roads running everywhere up in the backcountry. Now, most of these roads were fairly passable. Some of them got real tricky. Now this story is about one of the real tricky ones. We were heading up to this one mountain pass. We were told, you'll never get there with a truck. It's just not happening, you know. You might get up there with a dirt bike or something. And ATVs weren't a big thing back then. Um, in fact, they had just came out with the first, the first um, big red three-wheelers, you know. Um, we didn't have any quads back then. So, Bill and I were the kind that both of us said, nah, I will get up there with a truck, you watch us. Well, he had this old, big um, Chevy Blazer back when they were big trucks. They're not the little trucks like we have today, they were big trucks. Well, his was had a lift kit, and it had big tires on it. I mean, it was, yeah, it was a big truck. And he said, let's take my truck up there. I said, oh, oh okay, yeah, let's go. So we head up in the backcountry. Now, we're way back in there. You don't want nothing to happen when you're that far back in. We're about 25 miles back into the high country with this truck is. 
and we're heading up this really steep old road that you could tell nobody had traveled that. I mean, we, for years, we, we could not tell that anybody had been up that road for years. The, um, there was a couple of spots we had to stop and actually roll rock off of the road so we could get through. There was a couple of trees down that we had to drag off the road or cut and break apart so we could get past them. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But we got um, way up to this, we're getting pretty close to this mountaintop. And the road's getting narrower and narrower and narrower and steeper and steeper and steeper. Well, we got to a point where it was quite the steep grade. It was really steep. I mean, it put you back in your truck seat like that. Um, and we're working our way up that mountain. And I'm looking out my window and I'm going, Bill, don't you get anywhere near this edge over here. I said, it's about four or 500 feet off the edge of this. It's not straight down, it's at about, oh, I mean, it's like a 60 degree angle. I said, it'll kill us for sure, you go off this edge. He says, don't worry about it, I'm gonna stay tight up against the mountain, you know, don't worry about it. And that road kept getting narrower and narrower and narrower. And then finally I told him, I, he stopped and he goes, oh my gosh, I don't know what we're gonna do. He says, that's so darn narrow. What if the ground broke away that the truck would roll right off the mountain? I said, yeah, no kidding. And he said, I think we can get through. You just get out of the truck and walk beside it right by the passenger window. And you let me know if I get too close to the edge. And I could tell he's getting real nervous. His knuckles are turning white from squeezing that steering wheel. I thought, oh boy. I, I said, well, yeah, okay, that'll work. I said, I'll let you know if you're getting too close. So I got out of the truck, and I'm standing right next to the driver's door. Okay, that's what this prop is for. This is the part of the door that the window slides up and down, right? The top of the door, not the top of the door frame, but the top of the door where the window goes up and down. In. Okay, so you know what this prop is for. So I'm walking beside his truck. Now his truck, like I said, had a lift kit and these big tires. So his truck was tall. So that's about the height if I'm walking along beside the truck. So he can see my part of my chest and my whole head, you know. And I'm walking beside the truck and I got my hands on the window sill like this. And we're heading up the mountain and I'm looking ahead and I'm watching the edge and looking back and forth and watching. And I told him, I said, now you pay attention to me because if you get too close to this edge, I'm bailing, I'm getting out of the way because you're gonna go right off the mountain. He says, you just let me know if we get too close. I said, yeah, I will, but you gotta pay attention to me, pay attention. He had a bad habit of not paying attention to me. So on we go and I'm going, Bill, Bill, you're getting too close over here, Bill. He doesn't even look at me. And all he does is he says, yeah, 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 I'll get tighter against this mountainside. Well, the mountain, his side of the truck, the mountainside's pretty steep. And I said, Bill, you have to pay attention to me. And he didn't say nothing. And I go, I'm yelling at him, Bill, Bill, come on, pay attention to me. And he goes, yeah, 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 I, I am, I am. And I thought, after yelling at him two, three more times, you're getting too close, you're getting too close. And he's not even paying attention, he's not even responding to me. I thought, I'll fix you. So he's looking constantly out his side of the truck. Now why, why the heck is he looking out his side of the truck? It's uphill. That side of the truck, don't worry about that. Look straight ahead, look in your mirror, look at me, because I'm telling you what going on out here on the edge. So, 
no, now he's looking out his side of the truck and once in a great while looking straight ahead, back and forth over there, not looking at me. So finally I decided I'll fix you. All of a sudden he hears me just yelling, just at the top of my lungs. So he turns to look to see what I'm screaming about. And this is what he sees. This is the door, remember? This is what he sees. And I'm screaming at the top, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Bill, Bill, you're going off the edge, you're going off the edge. He thought I was hanging off the side of the truck with my feet dangling over the edge. He cranked that steering wheel so hard, he t I, I, I didn't think that truck could take that steep of a grade. That truck almost stood right up on end. I thought it was going to roll over on its back. And he stopped, and I run, run, I run up there and laughing, opened the passenger door, looked in, and he was just shaking holding that steering wheel. And he goes, thank God you're all right. I just said, I was fine anyway. I said, I was just joshing you. I said, you actually had about three feet. I said, it's plenty wide for the truck. I said, and he goes, then why in the heck would you do something like that to me? I said, you refuse to pay attention? I said, when I yell at you far enough, that means far enough. And he said, well, he said, I still just don't understand why you would do that to me. And I said, I just wanted to teach you a lesson. And he goes, oh, well, now you got another story to tell. And I said, oh, yeah. I said, in this one, the moral of the story is, if you're always looking the other way, you just might leave a friend hanging. So there you go. There's the moral of the story. Don't always be looking the other way or you're gonna leave a friend hanging. Oh, Bill never forgave me. We had plenty of little episodes over the years. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm sure there'll be a few more sty stories that involve Bill, but that was one of my favorites. Um, I never saw Bill so nerved up as he was that day when I told him that was far enough. So, pay attention. Thanks for tagging along, folks. New viewers, hey, hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. Get notified for the next videos. Hey, Stai loves having you tag along. As always, this is Stai North saying, you all have a nice day. Bye-bye.